Did you know, for example, 70% of British men say they wear their watch as a status symbol? I know I do. And my status is... tiny cock o'clock. <laughs> 40% of young adults don't know how to change a nappy. It's easy. You just have to pull the legs through, fold the flaps over, secure them, and at no point look your nana in the eyes. <laughs> and 12% of British women would prefer their man to be good at DIY rather than sex. I like to combine the two. Drill hole A against the wall until flush, then screw until nuts tighten. <laughs> Right, let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panelist's job to guess the British public's top three most popular talking points. Ashling's team, what do you think the nation have been talking about? I think people might have mentioned the election results, Jim. So the, the results have just come in as we're recording this. Quite mm. exciting. Uh, mm. The exit poll has predicted a hung parliament with no party gaining an overall majority. Yes! <laughs> so, oh. obviously, we're recording this last Thursday. This goes out on Tuesday. So it'll probably be sorted in the next couple of days. But no one's, no one's clear this evening Can on what's going on. Can I just say oh, that fuck. a hung parliament sounds like the least sexy porno I've ever heard? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say this? <laughs> <laughs> she called an election! She didn't get the majority! <laughs> <laughs> The real story here, I sense, will be Theresa May, because this was a piece of political gameplay. Yeah. Theresa yeah. May called the election. She thought, they're never going to get anywhere right. close to me. They were predicting a majority of 170 seats yeah. for the Conservatives, and, I mean, they've lost seats. Yeah. I bet Corbyn's <laughs> loving it, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tonight, yeah. just wandering around, just swinging his dick about. <laughs> <laughs> He calls it the comrade, <laughs> the red peril, El Presidente. <laughs> Have you met Metal. the red peril? <laughs> Lethal. Uh, are you are you happy with this result? Are you a supporter of Labour? Or? Um, I am. I am um, originally a supporter of Labour. I'm not the biggest Jeremy Corbyn fan. I'll be honest. I think he's definitely changed my opinion on this election. He's definitely come out a bit more, but I just find it really hard to take someone who wears baggy suits seriously. <laughs> Did you see how many grime artists he was hanging out with? Yeah, it was cool, but again, I just feel like, is that really genuine or are you just trying to get the, gen the young generation on, on I don't, side? I don't even know genuine. I don't know a lot about grime. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do worse than, than Teresa, though, can they? All you've got to do is repeat a couple of sound bites on a loop. Wear a necklace that looks like a bike chain. <laughs> so everyone thinks you're strong and stable. Do you want to see my impression of Theresa May? Go on. You ready? <laughs> Have you not turned up to a debate? <laughs> <laughs> Although, yeah. I mean, in fairness to Theresa May, she's not the most charismatic <laughs> of politicians, so I think if she turned up to the debate, she might have done even worse. <laughs> well, the problem with the, the hung parliament is, of course, it's not over. It does seem like there is going to be, like, more instability, which means yeah. we probably yeah. are going to have another election. No! Which means that we're just going to do it over and over again. Oh. It was Indie Ref, Brexit, now it's going to be Indie Ref and the Temple of Doom, then Indie Ref <laughs> and the Last Crusade, <laughs> then Brexit, Brexit Returns, Brexit <laughs> Forever, Brexit and Robin, and we just go <laughs> on like that until eventually we're all just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that they were saying uh, you can take selfies outside of the polling station but not inside of the polling booth? And I was like, God, imagine if there was, like, another type of booth where you could take a photo of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so you don't show other people's votes? Because they were saying you, you can mm. say who you voted for but you can't reveal anyone else's votes. But then this thing came round, they were saying, you can bring your dogs to the polling station. And I'm like, that'll definitely give away who you're voting for. Right, Pitbull, UKIP. <laughs> <laughs> Whip it, Labour. <laughs> Some hounds and a couple of horses, Tory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Greens turn up with a fox and it all kicks off. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Philip May brought Theresa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why can't we just vote? On an app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it feels like you've got more say in Britain's Got Talent than you do in the election. Yeah. Because yeah. you vote on that every week and then they have a little final. I reckon they should have a little runoff, a couple of mm. weeks. Yeah. yeah, we just end up with a dog for Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to ruin that. He's for on you. a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> There's two of them. 
Two dogs. No. What? This is like the time I found out that baby horses weren't called ponies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't like horses because... No, don't do a teeth joke. <laughs> I was flat palm, <laughs> flat palm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them. In the, when you drive through the New Forest, yeah. they have all the horses knocking about, mm. and they're on the road. I'm like, you've got the whole of the New Forest. <laughs> I'll eat tarmac. <laughs> Fuck off out my way. <laughs> What's he <it> doing? <laughs> yes, political satire here on 8 out of 10 counts. <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see if the general election is up there. Of course it is. <laughs> yes, it's the general election. It was a snap general election. He's a prick, she's a prick. Snap. <laughs> Days before the election, Corbyn made an appalling gaffe in a radio interview, but they opened a window and it was fine. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and uh, I'm announcing a new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny, because, you know, I do. I go to jimmycarr.com for dates and tickets, and then, uh, you know, I guess buy a ticket and come and see the tour. I laugh funny, so can you. Come and see me. <laughs>